do uh, radical expressions dealing with quotients. In other words, we're going to divide. What happens when you're dividing and you have a radical numerator and denominator? Again, also multiplying radicals. Just remember that if you're multiplying radicals, index has to be the same. So if you're dealing with division or a fraction, you have to have same index. Remember, no radicals in the denominator. I'm going to show you how to rationalize denominators. And always remember, index has to be the same. So let's go straight forward to the example. So square root 18x to the fifth over square root 2x to the third, which is the same as saying square root 18x5 over 2x3, which is the same as, okay, 18 divided by 2 is square root 9. Every time you're dividing and you have same base with exponents, same base, exponents, 5 minus 3 is 2, x squared. Next, what we do is take the square root of 9, which is 3, and the square root of x squared is x. Example 2, I'm going to have the third root of something, so I'm going to do what's 162 divided by 3, or reduce the fraction. So 162 divided by 3, I know it can, is 54. So this is 54, y to the third power. So. I know I'm bringing out a y because, again, base exponent matches index, so I pull up just the base, so I have y, and I want to know what's the highest perfect cube that goes into 54. So the highest perfect cube that goes into 54, I'm going to my calculator, 54 divided by x to the third power, second graph. So the highest perfect cube that goes into 54 is 3. So 3 is the highest perfect cube. So this is going to be equal to 3 to the third times 2, y to the third. So base has an exponent that matches the index, so we just pull out the base. And what's left over is 2. So we have 3y, third root, 2. To emphasize how to rationalize the denominator. So to clear out the radical and the denominator, multiply by the same base so that your exponents add up to the index. Your new denominator will only be the base of the radical with exponent 1. So here I had base 5y with exponents 1 and 2. Therefore, I'm multiplying by same base 5y, but with exponents 2, 1, so that my exponents add up to my index. What's left will just be the base of the radical, which is, or the radicand, 5, the base of the exponents, 5y. And multiply up. I'm going to stop this right now. I'll do another example in my next video.